Our weather warming up soon. A lot of us are seeing our heaters are going to be turning back down throughout the day. One local fire department wants to remind you of the dangers of gas appliances year round. Charmel Odell joins us live to show us how to keep your home safe from carbon monoxide. Francis, I'm told by fire officials you should change your carbon monoxide and smoke detectors all year round, specifically every time you change your clocks. Doing so just might save your life. It's a silent killer. Carbon monoxide can be found in numerous everyday appliances. Some of those include stoves and water heaters, all things that we use year round. So anything that's burning is causing combustion and an incomplete combustion can cause carbon monoxide. And that can happen year round. Chief Rich Sturtz with Logan Rogersville tells me you should never have your car running in the garage, even if your garage door is up. We may have the garage door up, but if the wind's out of the right direction, it's blowing that carbon monoxide inside your home. And so uh, it, it's easy to forget about those things. Jonathan Tudor with Taney County Ambulance District says one of the best ways to protect yourself from carbon monoxide. Making sure that you have a working carbon monoxide detector. Tudor says determining the signs of carbon monoxide poisoning can be very difficult because the symptoms are all common symptoms. One of the things that makes carbon monoxide so incredibly dangerous is the, the signs and symptoms are so subtle that a lot of people don't realize they're there. And one of the, one of the main symptoms is feeling lightheaded, uh, dizzy, or sleepy. The only way to really know if it's carbon monoxide is to be tested for it. Test the house to see if there's carbon monoxide in it. Sturt says you should never take this small gadget for granted because it just may save your life. Don't assume or just um, take for granted that this is not going to occur to you. Fire officials say you should be checking to see if you need your detector tested, the expiration date, and checking for working batteries. In Springfield, I'm Charmel Adele, KY3 News.